Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. As you guys saw by the title, we'll be finally, and I mean finally, <laughs> doing my dupes video. So drugstore dupes for popular high-end makeup. You guys know the drill. I'm sure you've seen 100,000. Anyway, first if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button without further ado. Let's just get started. <laughs> I feel like I've been planning this <laughs> video for like over a year now. Um, I just, you know, I really, I strongly love, like I loved watching dupes videos, but I strongly believe sometimes it's just fun to either have the high-end version or just to, you know, if you have the high-end version, there's no reason to purchase the drugstore one. So sometimes I find them to be useless, not gonna lie. Um, so I really wanted to do one that I felt like was beneficial, like ones products that not everyone is trying to dupe um also ones I feel like that were again beneficial like I feel like people like I always recommend or like I feel like people are constantly buying like one that would actually be useful and not just like oh here's <laughs> a dupe because if you feel like it you know what I mean so I wanted to that's why it took me so long so I had like you know probably a group of uh products um a couple months ago but now they changed and some of these I'm really really excited about um so I'm need some water real quick but <laughs> then we'll start <laughs> all right so first I did want to mention this and not because it actually that all the that whole tangent for me to tell you that this is actually not a dupe but they are comparable so um I have pi had picked up the natrium um I think it's natrium I heard someone saying it in a video but I can't remember I think it's natrium anyway the vital glow lip balm in clear and a lot of people said you know this is a dupe for the summer fridays lip butter balm the shade vanilla they have a couple different shades so depending on your shade like in either of them you know you might be able to dupe it i don't think these are dupes i do think they're comparable though so for the summer fridays um should we do yeah we'll do this is gonna be a hard one <laughs> but we're gonna just put on half my lip here and half the summer fridays they are pretty like thick for a lip balm like they're not for a lip balm they're pretty thick they are more of like a lip balm kind of consistency but you can see they have a little bit of glossiness so I essentially just wear this as a lip gloss um but they're thick they smell so good they feel so moisturizing on the lips like it's the perfect formula if you will I feel like the um natrium is what we're just gonna call it is a little bit thicker like it even squeezes out of the tube just a little bit thicker and so they are comparable but I do think that this one is just a little bit more, it's thicker. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a thicker, just a thicker texture. And so it gives a different kind of vibe. Like I feel like it's not as glossy and um, it is a little, like I love this lip balm. Like I'm not sitting here saying like, don't get this one. Honestly, I think this is a great lip balm, but I don't think you should get it in place of the Summer Fridays because I still would purchase both, if that makes sense. This one feels, um, Oh, it has a little bit more of a grip to it. I guess that's another way to say it. But anyway, I hope that answered something for you guys. I don't think they're necessarily specifically dupes, but I do think that they're comparable. Um, like you couldn't go wrong with either of them, honestly. All right, let's go on with some primer because I'm actually super excited for these products. Let's go with the dupe I'm most excited for because <laughs> I did not know I was like sleeping under a rock. So first we have the Too Faced Plump and Prime Luxury Face Primer. I um, honestly just got this for a full face of Too Faced and um, I enjoy it. It's nothing like exceptional I felt like. I felt like it was nothing worth the 45 price tag for the full size. I just have a little mini here. Um, but I feel like it's nice. It does have a little bit of grip to it, like it's a little bit um, tackier. And um, I, you could see it just leaves a nice, like, it's not necessarily glowy, like, once you get it blended in. But I feel like it's a little bit more, like, glossy. I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> it's a little bit more radiant, I guess. It's a little bit more lifelike of a finish. Kind of wakes that dull dull skin up. Um, and so I, I didn't have anything negative to say about it I was just kind of like whatever the original comes in like this the full size comes this beautiful glass packaging 40 like 45 50 something dollars I don't even know I probably should have wrote down prices here I don't know I like the reason why I didn't though because I feel like I know most of these prices anyway 45 dollars it is um for this thing um for this primer like it is does have a little bit of a grip to it um when it dries down a little bit more I did not know I didn't know Unless everyone else knew, I'm going to tell you in case you didn't know. If you like that primer, it is the exact same as the NYX Plump Right Back <laughs> Plumping Serum and Primer. So if we are ready, 
the Too Faced Plump and Prime Luxury Face Plumping Primer Serum. <laughs> NYX Plump Right Back <laughs> Plumping Serum and Primer. I said, what? What? <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea that they were coming for them. It's funny, as I'm talking, I can feel my lips, like, it's not sticking together. They just feel heavier on this side, um, which I, again, I like that lip balm, so it's not, like, a bad heavier, but I'm like, what the heck? Oh, my gosh, I cannot use this rag. Anyway, I didn't know, so we're going to go with this one. Um, I, again, it, NYX is a little bit pricier for the drugstore. Um, I believe you can get this from anywhere from, like, $16 to $20, depending on where you get it from, because, like... Ulta jumps up the price a little bit, CVS, Target is usually essentially pretty cheap, um, the NYX website I'm sure you could probably get a discount on, anyway my point is that I believe you can get, it's ranges in price, but either way it's like still less than half of the um, <laughs> Too Faced one, so if you were interested in the Too Faced one you have this one, I honestly think they're super super comparable, they're like a little bit less st sticky, I was say stacky, <laughs> less sticky than the um, uh, elf power grip I don't like those which I was like when I found this of course I was obsessed um, and then when I realized hey it's a dupe for something you know maybe all you people out there <laughs> need to know that this is a great alternative to those um, to this primer to those primers all the primers all right so this one I kind of am testing I believe they're dupes but I'm gonna we're just gonna apply it together and I'll let you guys know for sure for sure um, but of course we have my rare beauty illuminating primer you guys know I've loved this for a very very long time um, and it just you know was the love of my life oh my gosh I just applied way too much <laughs> um, it's luminous it's beautiful it's hydrating it feels good on the face it makes every single foundation just look so stunning has a little bit more of like that illumination to every single foundation um, you could get a mini and whatever you want to do I really do love that primer so um, I've talked about it for years though <laughs> and I honestly feel like the the hold that is the Too Faced I mean sorry the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer the Hold that the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer has in my life is like lifting up on its own. I feel like it's even <laughs> losing a little bit because I feel like this Wet n Wild one is super, super comparable. Yeah, I applied way too much. <laughs> you can just see though the difference in my, it's so illuminating, it's beautiful. I obviously played white way too much, so you could tone it down a little bit, but honestly, um, I love, love, love the illuminating aspect to it. Um, but then we do have the Wet n Wild Glass Correct Primer. So now this is yellow, and I, I don't love that they, like, oh my gosh, did I, am I going to make the same mistake? I don't love that they kind of aimed for this to be more of, like, a correcting kind of primer. Like, just let it be an illuminating primer and let that be its thing. And move on with your life. They're not exact dupes at all. They're very comparable. This one is not as um, illuminating though. You can see, I obviously, and I honestly applied too much too, but like this one you can see is a little bit more illuminating in the pearlescent kind of way. This is a little bit more illuminating in the more natural kind of way. <laughs> you know, I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but I don't think they're dupes. I think they're comparable. I really like this primer though, so um, that's okay. This is going to be a fun video. Like, are these even actually dupes, Marissa? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm, I don't know if I named it this, but I, but hopefully I did, because that's the honest truth. It's going to be, like, more testing. Like, dupes that I think are dupes, but I'm not so sure. So, anyway, next we have the By Mario Surreal Skin Foundation in the shade 140. I actually, oh, sorry, 14-0. I actually, um, 14-0. <laughs> I actually really like this foundation. It's not like a favorite by any means. I just though I feel like it's um a really good one just to have. You know, like like if I'm ever doing a high end foundation or makeup video or whatever it is, this is a nice one to have. I have so many other high end foundations that I love. I do. This one was never like a holy grail, but I actually did really um like it like when I you know use it I'm just gonna go on with it on this side the idea too is that they're like pearl like pearlized things in it that people I guess don't love like people were not obsessed with this foundation like I wasn't obsessed I liked it but I was not obsessed um and I could see why it's just nothing like revolutionary especially again for the price tag which it's you know good makeup is good makeup so when it's good you can't put a price on good makeup most of the time <laughs> but when it's like just subpar or like when it's just okay it's like yeah I'm not gonna spend close to $50 on um, a foundation that's just subpar okay it actually only costs $42 <laughs> but still that's a lot of dollars okay 
I'm gonna go on with the sponge because I just have been loving a sponge recently. I just didn't want to use, I wanted to use the brushes first because um, these sponges are really different, the two that I have. But you can see it's just a nice light um, medium coverage. Uh, it just looks beautiful. It just looks very natural, especially with like the rare beauty, the products I have going on underneath it. It just looks stunning. It is beautiful. I just don't think it's like, you know, cream of the crop, like this new innovational find. You know what I mean? Can you guys guess? Well, actually, maybe it's in the thumbnail. <laughs> but for this side, we are going to go with the Revlon Skin Caring Foundation, the Illuminates Skin Caring Foundation. Now, depending on where you get this, this can be kind of pricey. So, and not necessarily, again, it's not going to be $42, but it may be like 18 17 18 even closer to 20 depending on where you get it. I say stay away from CVS, <laughs> but any any other one, it's going to be about the, uh, similar. But, um... I love this foundation. I think it's beautiful. I think, honestly, they are, even if they're, when I put them on, they're not exact dupes. When I'm in my head, when I go to, like, think of what kind of foundation I want, these both go in the same category of just lighter medium coverage, like a light, beautiful medium coverage where your skin peeks through. It's natural, like, luminance. Um, it just looks natural. It's skin-like, but it has more coverage than, like, a tinted moisturizer, you know? Like, those both are in that category. Oh, my gosh, the yeah, other dupes. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> that's the same pro that's the same product, honey. Good, 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 good. Definitely dupes. <laughs> All I gotta say. <laughs> Again, they're both like you your skin can peek through both of them. Um you can add a little bit more if you want to build it up, but it's not gonna go to like this full coverage anything it is more again they're both more illuminant and they both do have like really fine particles in them like if you hold them up really close together you could see them um <laughs> but they're definitely dupes definitely dupes yeah okay next we're gonna go with some concealer i actually wasn't gonna pick a concealer at all because i was like i don't think i have one but i honestly saw these and i was like honestly yeah Yes, in my head, they might be dupes, so we'll see how they go on. This is the Rare Beauty um, Under Eye Brightener in the shade Light Medium. Um, I don't know how, like, I don't, honestly, don't really, re I, I feel like people just kind of talked about this for when it released, and that was it. Um, I don't feel like people, like, were super excited about it or anything like that, um, but it's a nice, just lightweight, lightweight kind of a brightener, so I don't think it adds, like, really that much coverage, um, but I honestly don't mind it because I never have super like dark discolored under eyes so I feel like it always just adds a little bit um it is nice and brightening and it looks beautiful under the eye very lightweight what I like in a product like this is that it's not adding like this heaviness under the eyes so I honestly like in my head I feel like they're pretty uh, the elf flawless brightening concealer is pretty similar where it's just yeah super lightweight and just adds a little bit of coverage but nothing like a full coverage concealer oh yeah they're pretty comparable <laughs> not gonna lie I have some leftover of the elf so I'm just gonna put down that down the center of my face because this packaging sucks but it's okay <laughs> I see the shade matches looks look pretty good too <laughs> like I don't look like I'm wearing two different foundations honestly at all but not in the in the container they're like different <laughs> Did I tell you? It's going to be down below as well, but I have the shade 405 in the Revlon. Super, super comparable. I do have to say the minor difference is the Rare Beauty honestly looks a little bit more hydrating. Although the e.l.f. doesn't look dry or anything, it looks more of a natural finish. The um, Rare Beauty looks a little bit more luminous, so it could just be the amount of primer that I put on on this side or anything like that. Because honestly, I would just, they're comparable. If you don't want the Rare Beauty or, you know, whatever the reason is, you don't want to get this one. The e.l.f. one is honestly super, super, I love that e.l.f. concealer as well. So Okay, next we're going to go with some cream bronzer. Um, so these are like a newer find um, because I just recently got the ABH cream bronzer. But I'm like, honestly, the Soul Body Bronzing, Face and Body Bronzing Balm is literally the same. Like there's really no need to have the high-end version <laughs> in this kind of like formula because they're the exact same. They're the same. <laughs> I do have the shade Caramel in the um, ABH one. 
and I have the medium dark in the sole body. Um, they're just both so blendable, so smooth, and they just look flawless on the skin. They're not like, they're not going to pick up any of your foundation. They're just going to make cream bronzer super, super easy, which I appreciate. Um, but like, honestly, if I just want a basic matte, like a brace, sorry, not matte, basic <laughs> cream bronzer, why pay an arm and a leg when you can just buy the sole body? So 10 out of 10, y'all. 10 out of 10. This is another exciting one. <laughs> shade of the ABH one is a little bit warmer, just for those of you who are looking for shades. Um, the, uh, the sole body is a little bit more neutral, just so you know, but they both look stunning on my skin though, so. Okay, next we're going to set with some powder, and I've heard these are dupes. This one is one of those that just was like, okay, I have them, so let's try them. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. I have the shade 3 Tan in this itty-bitty, teeny-weeny, <laughs> yellow polka dot bikini. Um, <laughs> so I just honestly, I, I don't love this powder in general. It's nothing like exceptional or anything like that to me. I just feel like, um, you know, people love it, so... I just wanted to try the little mini um <laughs> and so it was perfect for this dupe video because i know people love it um i just don't think it's like my favorite setting powder i like something with a little bit more luminosity a little bit more life but this one's nice i feel like um people with like more i wouldn't say more oily skin i feel like people just with no more normal skin types or combo skin types will like this because i don't think it's my favorite for my dry skin but it's not bad like i would not never purchase this full size um, I do have this one though. Um, this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. I have the shade L4M1 Beige. I have no idea. Like, Flower Beauty really bothers me because sometimes their stuff is in, like, sometimes they discontinue. They just, I don't know. They're on their own island alone. But, um, I just have this. And so, um, we're just gonna give it a little test here. Again, this is not my favorite powder either. So I was like, okay, well, might as well try it. Um, I honestly, I, yeah, I feel like they're a little bit more comparable. I do still feel like this side is a little bit more illuminating. And again, I think it's because of the Rare Beauty Primer. But they both set really, really nicely. It's very soft. They're both really soft, set really nicely. Um, and it's nothing like over the top. Um, I do feel like I wish I had a little bit more <laughs> luminance, luminance between both of them. But honestly, I would say, yeah, they're dudes. Well, that one's though has been around for way longer than most of these other dudes. Okay, let's go on with uh, some bronzer. So this is Miss Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. You guys know this is an arm and a leg for this freaking bronzer. <laughs> um, I have the shade 3 Tan as well. I don't know why I did that because I'm not tan. That tan. I mean, I'm tan, but not that tan. Anyway, I've had this bronzer for mad long. So it does last you really, really long, but it costs $55. Um, you can just buy the, like, the refill and the thing if you want it to and you have your own like component, um, which is cool, but... Either way, it's still mad freaking expensive for a just a good matte bronzer formula. It is super, it's an amazing formula. It blends like a dream. It looks like a dream. It just is flawless. It is. It's a great powder, but it's $55. <laughs> so it's like, okay, calm down. Like that's a lot of dollars. So when I tried the ColourPop um, a matte bronzer formula, I was kind of like, why do I need to pay anything more than this? I think these are like $12. You can also buy just the pan if you have like a single um, thing or whatever. It's just, it's so inexpensive for a great, um, amazing, beautiful, blendable matte bronzer formula. <laughs> so it's like they're the exact same for what? <laughs> for no reason. I really, there's no differences between them. They're just both beautiful bronzer formulas. So of course you can't go wrong with either one, but I just feel like, you know, <sighs> why spend the money? <laughs> So freaking bomb. I honestly wish I took off the Rare Beauty Primer because this side is looking a little bit more luminous, um, but I still feel like, you know, they're pretty comparable. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have a dupe for blush, and um, so I was like, whatever, but I just went in with this ColourPop. It's the pow Pressed Powder Blush in the shade Silence um, from the Alice in Wonderland collection, and I do just think ColourPop has an amazing basic matte blush formula. So I feel like, you know, even if you're looking for just a go-to color or something like that, check out ColourPop for sure. Um, I just didn't have a color shade dupe. And then I was like, formulas are similar, but nothing that was like super exciting. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just not. Um, but highlighter is so freaking exciting, guys. You guys know <laughs> Miss Rare Beauty, the um, Positive Light Highlighter or something like that. Um, I have the shade Exhilarate here are amazing. 
Now mine shattered. Um, I was funny actually, cause I was saying how like when I was packing my vacation bag, I was kind of like, if this breaks, like honestly it's my fault. Cause I like, I heard that they break easy. But what happened was when I was there getting ready, the whole freaking, <laughs> my whole freaking makeup bag fell on the floor and that was the only shade that broke. Only shade. <laughs> I was so beat, but it's fine because you know, <sighs> it was the only thing that broke. Anyway. I love this highlighter and I'm like, I guess I could like repress it or something, but I honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to do that. I'm like, I might just keep it because I like to do rare beauty videos, but I'm honestly like, do I repurchase it? Like, what do I do? What do I do? Someone tell me what I do. So I'm just going to go with Miss Rare Beauty on this side. I do. I love this highlighter. I think it's gorgeous. It's stunning. The color is perfect. Um, and I do think the formula is more like a putty-esque kind of formula. I feel like it just melts into the skin beautifully. It's definitely more than just a powder kind of um, texture. I feel like it has a little bit more bounce to it. You know what I mean? It kind of reminds me of the ColourPop Super Shock Cheeks. <laughs> it's not an exact formula. Like These are way more cream-like, more bouncy, but I feel like the Rare Beauty does have a little bit of uh, bounce to it. And I honestly felt like the Dobby, shade Dobby from the Harry Potter collection was honestly a pretty darn good dupe, which I've talked about for a while, um, because honestly, they are so similar. There are three shades as well, like ones that are a little bit lighter, but I feel like Dobby was the best for my skin tone. Okay, looking at them side by side, the Rare Beauty is a little bit icier. So I feel like the shade, like, Hedwig or something, or, um, what is the word? Or Buckbeak would have been, like, a little bit more exact. But I honestly think they're so comparable that I'm like, I don't even need the Rare Beauty, like, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just being honest. That's why I convinced myself. Although the Rare Beauty does look stunning, so it's like... Do I repurchase the Rare Beauty? I don't know. Anyway, I feel like these are super, super comparable. So if you find a shade you like in the Super Shock Cheek formula, I honestly just say you don't need the Rare Beauty. But I know like people buy Rare Beauty just for the fact that it's Rare Beauty. So it's fine. <laughs> I do the same thing. <laughs> Next, let's just set with some setting spray real quick. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Stay Spray 16 Hour Wear. I honestly feel like, hold on. <laughs> I honestly feel like most of these like long wearing setting sprays, um, they're all similar. They're all like, you can buy one and be okay with one. Um, the Urban Decay All Nighter is the best, but I feel like everything under Urban Decay All Nighter, there's this one, there's a, a bunch of other ones that I have. Um, they all can be duped by this hard candy <laughs> long wear, sheer MV long wear setting spray. This one says 12 hour wear, but honestly, I don't, it, it's like they both last the entire work day, so it's fine. I feel like they both just make my keep my makeup exactly the way it was. They don't add glow. They don't add um, very much. They don't dry out my skin, which is nice because sometimes the Urban Decay All Nighter does. Um, but neither of these do. I feel like they just set the makeup exactly the way it was. And I love that. I think it's stunning. And then they make it last as, again, an entire work day. Okay, real quick, we're just going to do some brows. So for this brows, first we're going to go with the ABH Clear Brow Gel. Um, this is a nice brow gel. You guys know it's just will keep your, your eyebrow hairs in place all day long. They're not going anywhere. It feels a little bit more like a lamination kind of brow effect where it really like feels like more of a thicker brow gel, more of a brow glue, um, but it is super, super nice. And then we are gonna go with the ABH Brow Definer. Now I know most people are duping the brow whiz, but I felt like there are some people who are diehard for the brow definer. So I wanted to dupe this one instead. Um, I necessar don't necessarily love the brow definer, but um, I definitely wouldn't pay full price for it, so I'm like, if I wouldn't pay full price for it, for it then maybe we should find a new. <laughs> um, then we're just going to go in with this side. You guys know the Essence Fix It Like a Brow Transparent Brow Fixing Gel. I love this stuff. I think it is so good, and I do think it's pretty comparable to the ABH because I feel like they both dry down a little bit more gel-like, where a little bit, not crunchier, crunchier sounds bad, but it is like a little bit more crunchier. Um, but another great dupe for the um, ABH Brow Definer is the Essence Baby Got Brow Eyebrow Pencil. I honestly don't even know how many shades they have. I think they had like three or something. But I have the shade 20 Brunette. If you can find your shade, um, they're pretty comparable. The size is like a slight difference um, like when you hold them up. But like as far as effect goes, they're the same effect, you know, where they <laughs> just kind of get the job th done. They're thick, they're, so they're easy to just kind of brush through your brows quickly um, and just move on with your life. And they still, you know, 
can draw like a sharper line on the bottom. It's not as sharp as a normal brow pencil, but obviously, again, if you like this kind of brow pencil, the Essence one is basically the same. Okay, let's go in with some eyeshadow palettes because, oh honey, we're going to be here all day. Of course, we have two. I'm so excited to finally use the um, Alter Ego Midsummer palette. But, like, ABH Nouveau, yes, please. This is the love of my life. Um, I don't even know if it's supposed to bend like that. I think I broke it. But <laughs> we're going to let her bend like that. <laughs> what kind of look do I want to do? I don't even know. I feel like we should just do my go-to look with this palette and then um, maybe do a pop of the lavender shade. Okay, so first we're just going to take the shade Fleur. Fleur? I don't know how to say that. I feel like I've said this before, but I've never, maybe I've, I've definitely used this shade before. I feel like I've never said it before. But we're just going to put that in the crease. Then we're going to take a smaller brush and go with the shade Metro. I love this freaking color. It's so stunning, honestly. And put that in the outer corner, a little bit of the crease as well. some major kickback in this ABH palette. I feel like that's always been the case though. So it's like kind of known at this point. I'm just gonna go back with my first blender and not add any more product and just blend out that shadow. Okay, then we're gonna go with Miss Lily, the shade Lily, which is the prettiest shade of freaking life. I wanna go get the Cosmo palette just because I love this palette so much. Like Mercer, that's a horrible reason because <laughs> Um, then you probably wouldn't like the Cosmo palette as much as you like this one, but honestly, I'm like, either way, this is so stunning. So freaking stunning. Then I'm just going to go back with that outer corner shade. I'm going to add a little bit more of Metro and just blend that outer corner. Just blend that outer corner. Okay, I'm just going to take a, like a more of a shader brush and take the, take the shade Wisteria, which is the purple, and put that on the lower lash line. I don't even know if I've ever used this color. I feel like it's harder to see it on camera. In person, although, it actually looks really, really cute. It's just like a slight bit purple. Maybe if I take like a more a flat, flatter brush, it'll add a little bit more color. It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> Definitely not an everyday look or everyday color, but I think it's super, super cute. So honestly, we're going to leave that eye like that. Of course, we were going to do the exact same thing um, with the Alter Ego Midsummer palette, just to put it to this test. So first, we're going to go in with the shade Tuscan um, right here. Honestly, those shades look a little different in the pan. Um, this, the Alter Ego one looks a little bit lighter and a little less pink. Um, but on the eye, they're vibing the same. It honestly looks like a little bit of a paler pink on this eye. I'm going to take a same, honestly, these are like the same brushes in like different, they're all SL Miss Glam brushes, which is kind of funny. But we're just going to take a smaller brush and go in with the shade Solstice, which is right here. And just, of course, pack that on the inner outer corner. Okay, I do have to say, I feel like these have a little bit, the um, ABH have a little bit more depth to them. Um, I feel like the second shade... Um, so the shade Sol Solstice is looking like, on the eyes, looking more like the shade Fleur. Like, honestly, though, but in the pans, they look freaking this. It's the exact same. Honestly, no, you cannot see that. What if I swatch them? <laughs> yeah. So here's the shade Fleur and here's the shade Tuscan. Tuscan looks a little bit more like um, from Alter Ego. It looks a little bit more beigey. And this uh, one from uh, ABH looks a little bit more pinky, but it has a little bit more depth to it. So I feel like it's more undertone than it is color because color is pretty similar, but um, I feel like it's more undertone. I even feel like the shade Solstice is looking a little bit like lighter than the shade Metro in ABH. You know what I mean? Like I feel like they're not exactly the same. Which is, like, not that serious, but it's also, like, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily then go say, go pick the Alter Ego up if you want the ABH, because I don't think they're exactly the same as far as color goes, especially, that's really important, especially if you have a more medium tan skin tone, honestly. Okay, let's go in with the shade Festival, which is right down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, like Alter Ego shimmers, man. So good. I have to apply a little bit more of Lily because um because the Alter Ego one is a little bit more like metallic. <laughs> you can see I honestly think I like the Alter Ego shade better. Interesting. 
you can see there is a difference though between the two like lid colors interesting interesting very interesting all right let's go in with the shade lavender oh yeah that's the same color <laughs> oh my gosh that is the same color let's go in with a like more flat brush and let's see oh yeah that's the same color wow i honestly feel like there are some there are differences enough that i first of all i'm okay with having both because <laughs> honestly they don't even look the same on the eye i feel like the um shimmer from the oh my gosh this is so stunning the shimmer from the alter ego is literally gorgeous they're both gorgeous but look at this one that is oh my gosh like look at that that is a i mean that's alter ego and then here is ABH. Like, they both are stunning, but I like this undertone, I feel like, a little bit better. It looks a little bit more champagne. This one's a little bit more pink. But honestly, they're both stunning. <laughs> that is so exciting. Okay, I definitely think, like, yeah, these, there are, are, this is, out of all the dupes, you know, that are super, super similar that you could go with one or the other, I feel like this one, honestly, it might be beneficial to either have both or just choose one. Um, uh, but, like, for different reasons. So if you're looking for, like, the more mattes that are a little bit better for deeper uh, medium tan skin tone then i say go with abh if you're looking for something just you know for lighter skin tone um a little bit like more bold as far as the shimmers go then i would go ultra ego okay so as long as <laughs> now that we've talked for 40 minutes that's so interesting though i thought for sure they would be like the exact same Okay, next we're gonna go with some mascaras. These I heard were dupes. I didn't think of this on my own. Um, Jessica Braun actually mentioned the mentioned these. Um, and so I was like, oh, well, I have both of those because I wasn't gonna use a dupe mascara. Um, but we're gonna give it a go. So this wands are pretty similar, except um, the L'Oreal Telescopic has three sides, so it's only one side without bristles. The Charlotte Tilbury has two sides without bristles. So that side and that side are both flat, and then the two sides have bristles. It's like a minor detail, but again, we'll see how they apply. I like the Charlotte Tilbury. I didn't like the L'Oreal, so we'll see. Okay, so, like, putting them on, first of all, I've had the Charlotte Tilbury longer than I've had the, the L'Oreal, so this L'Oreal one is still super, super wet of a formula, but honestly, they look pretty comparable. This is my worst set of lashes normally, so I feel like, honestly, if I was just applying this one, they would look exactly like this, um, and this one is super, super, like, dry right now, so, I mean, that's really good for the L'Oreal, which means once it dries out, it probably will be even better, um, so I'm excited to keep playing with it, because honestly, the first time I used it, I was not obsessed, but I do think they both look really, really pretty, they just look long girly wispy there's nothing like super extraordinary about them but they both look super super pretty so honestly i do say dupes huh interesting all right last but certainly not least um we do have the jacqueline um lip oil whatever they're called and the shade bronze pop so these are the new ones this doe foot is massive um and the f lip gloss formula is super nice and thick it just feels really really good on the lips i honestly love this formula and love this color but I noticed that like you use first of all the doe foot's so big that most of this product is just the doe foot squishing it around the sides there's not that much product in here and then um I almost it like not almost am done using it up but I feel like it just I've used so much of it and I just got this <laughs> and I feel like it's just because the doe foot again carries so much of the product it's like basically empty in there and I've literally only used this I used this one other day <laughs> Anyway, you can see just how it makes my lip looks. Now, this one I'm not sure about which one's a dupe because I feel like this doesn't, it's like thick. I feel like the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drips are um, more coming for the, but I feel like they're, honestly, wow, they are pretty much the same. Oh, yeah. So I only have, I have the shade, um, my main in this one, I have the clear shade. So obviously the colors are slightly different, but honestly, they're the same. <laughs> I was gonna also try test out the um, Clean Fresh Yummy Glosses from um, CoverGirl, but I feel like these are not as sticky. If that makes sense, I feel like it's a little bit more um, lightweight, the CoverGirl, so I feel like these are honestly essentially the same product. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's mad funny. I did not know. Okay, the Jacqueline one and the um, NYX one. Definitely dupes. Okay. I'm just going to go through real quick. I'm not going to say anything but dupes or not dupes. Just so we can get one final, like, you know, thing through. And, um, yes, that'll be it for this video. <laughs> I'd go with not dupes. Definitely dupes. Not dupes. Definitely dupes run, don't walk. <laughs> dupes, for sure. Absolutely dupes. Definitely dupes as well. Oh my gosh, yes, dupes. Not dupes. Yes, dupes. Definitely dupes. Heck yes, absolutely dupes. Not dupes. Definitely dupes. Dupes! <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!